Capella. Anderson comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Ennis in for James Harden. Houston trails by 10. Ennis taking his time here. Anderson outside. Team Curry with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Here is the open three to cap the break. Eight points for him. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Well, Steph Curry, widely regarded as the best shooter in the history of the game. He's been so successful playing point guard in the NBA at times. I think we forget that he transitioned from playing shooting guard in his younger days. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Well, you'd like to see a little more physical nature on defense. You have to make him earn those points at the strike. And truth is, though he misses that one, it's a shot he normally makes. Let's not lie. He has the skills to do it. We've seen that, but you still like to work for something close. Now, here's Paul. Right side, Gordon. Over Durant. And too long on the shot. Make an argument for the kickout pass there. D had him too bottled up. From down, and the hook goes. It goes. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Curry against Paul. And yes, it's good. It's superb strength right there. Paul refusing to give in. He converts through contact. It's Durant on the wing. They get it again. Outside, Brzingis. The dish to Curry. Five on the clock. Here's Durant. And Cousins throws it down. Such a massive guy. Cousins is a wrecking ball. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Paul. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins has got seven rebounds in the game. Thompson with the bucket. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. Yeah, you see it now on the scoreboard. Yeah, particularly on offense, where they've been completely in sync. Terrific first quarter. Pass to Ennis. From 15 feet away, that's good from Paul on the assist by Ennis. Six points for Chris Paul. That medium range area, that was Paul's bread and butter when he entered into the league. I mean, did he add a range to that? And so it's Los Angeles with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll return shortly. Game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And take a look at Los Angeles' performance here. What have they been doing or not doing? I mean, hugely and already after this first quarter, they're, they're starting to make it look easy. I love that they have the track shoes on right off the tip. They were in full attack mode. This offense is really turning. And here is Los Angeles now. LeBron James is out there with Bailey. Then there's Chamberlain. Then it's Harden, and it's Rose in at the point guard position. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Oh, come on. We all know LeBron is used to getting fouled, but it's just amazing how he keeps his focus. Such a powerful player. LeBron signing a four-year deal with the Lakers. Greg Many speculated it might happen, but it was still a shock to many. Makes sense from LeBron's standpoint. Son plays in L.A. for high school. LeBron has a lot of business interest as well. And also what's interesting is that when LeBron's contract ends, his son could potentially be coming into the NBA as a rookie. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So on the floor for Houston. We've got Ennis. Nene is out there with Anderson. Then it's Anthony. And it's Paul in at the point guard. Houston making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Nene. P.J. Tucker comes in for Ryan Anderson. And it's James Harden in for James Ennis. And here is Paul. He's got six. Harden finds Paul. 
to the middle. Here's Anthony. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Not easy to miss a clean look inside like that, but he manages to do it. Plenty of daylight on that shot. And that's now six points for James Harden. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, time out, time three out. have been tripled. Now a timeout called by Houston. Yeah, when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Man, this is a joke. I mean, there have been some glimpses of hope, but they've been few and far between. Anthony, the pass to Paul. Yo, 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 yo. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. The pass to Harden. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Harden's got his first three points of the game. And Harden attempts more threes than just about anyone. And you don't get that kind of leeway unless you knock him down. Harden, the pass to Chamberlain. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. And that pattern continues, guys. Another heat check, another log on the fire. Oh, I know this feeling. They're in that special zone where you feel untouchable. They haven't missed in a while. Now, here is Harden from downtown. Tucker can't get it to go. Now, here's James, guarded by Tucker. And James throws it down. Oh, come on. You can't allow James to get position down. Well, once he does, he's looking to dunk it. Harden against Harden. It's Harden with the drive. The putback. Capella kicks to Anthony. Over Baylor. Anthony's shot is off. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. James looking it over. He gets it in there. LeBron's got seven points in the game. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Harden. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Anthony, no one around. The Rockets again can't hit. Well, it's a confidence shaker when you can't hit a wide open three like that. LeBron outside. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Harden against Harden. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. Another miss by Houston. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 17-3 run. LeBron kicks to Harden. LeBron outside. From 12 feet out. Can't hit that one. So Houston will take it the other way. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Houston making some changes. Anderson, he's checked in for Anthony. And Gordon subbed in for Chris Paul. 58 seconds left in the first half of the game. Gordon inside. He's covered by Rhodes. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Oh, he's a top-tier shooter. Gordon, he's a former six-man of the year where he plays his role to perfection. The first one falls. So for the Rockets. Nene comes in for Clint Capella, and it's James Ennison for P.J. Tucker. There's 48 seconds left now here in the second. Harden fires James. And he gets the button. The Browns got 11 points in the quarter. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Nene against Chamberlain. The shot by Nene. No good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Harden's shot is off. And it's Ennis with the ball for the Rockets. 
A three ball. And James Harden, good for three. James Harden's Martin. got six points. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. Harden inside the three-point line. Gets the front of the rim and out. One second left. The shot that time, not on target. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no sign. job of sensing the defense, making the right move at the right time. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Porzingis is out there with DeMarcus Cousins. Then there's Stephen Curry. And there's Clay Thompson. Adds Durant in at the three set. They're the group with Ryan Pierce to start the second half. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Outside Gordon. This one for three. Cousins pulls it in. Durant deciding where to go with it. Nailed from three point land. He's got seven. Listen, as soon as the rack gets past the half-court line, he's in range. I know that sounds crazy, but you need to start picking him up out there. Harden inside the three-point line. And the shot no good, a bit short. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. And P.J. Tucker, Greg, a rugged physical defender at the forward. And here's the guy, second-round pick back at 06. Spent five seasons playing abroad before making his return to the association. Now he's a seasoned veteran and not shy about holding his teammates accountable, especially defensively. Shots good by Durant. It's hard enough stopping Durant when he's on his own, but when he's running the pick and roll like he is, it's pretty much impossible. Ball against Curry. Harden outside. Shot clock at six. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Over to the left wing. Here's Tucker. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Cousins has got double digit rebounds now in the game. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Here's Durant. And he uses the glass on the way. Durant's got eight points in the quarter. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a ball. And Harden with the stuff. Oh, you love seeing Harden take off of the slam. He has just unreal hops. And Kevin Durant with the slam. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Harden the pass to Paul. And some nice passing there by Houston. Gordon for three. DeMarcus Cousins comes up with the rebound. Cousins has got the glass cover here tonight. 11 boards for him. He has them real. They haven't had an answer for him this quarter. Durant's gone three of four, shooting 75% from deep here. Inside. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. And hate to make a mistake there. Have to stay focused. You're so right. Trying to shrink the deficit. Sometimes you push too hard to make something happen. Ryan Anderson, who's checked in for the Rockets. Carmelo Anthony comes in for Paul. Durant against Anthony. Outside Durant. Puts it up from 12. A 
again, Los Angeles. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Here's Gordon, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And really, Gordon gets these calls because how engaged he is. He's consistent and remaining aggressive. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. That free throw good from Eric Gordon. Mene, he's checked in for Houston. James Ennis comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 17-6 run. Duran way outside. They get it again. Passes it to Curry. Gordon against Durant. Over Gordon. Durant, no good. The defense is doing just enough to bother him on his own. Ennis passes to Anderson. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Curry, wide open. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Curry's got 11 points. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Houston shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he makes the first. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Two shots. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Down low, Rose. His first attempt of the game follows the target. Rose has got his first bucket in this one. And the defense tried to slow him down, but Derrick Rose just a handful and gets around the rim. Here's Harden. Yep, it counts. Nice bucket. There's no question about his skills in the offense. Here's Rose. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Rose has got four points now in the quarter. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent pitch. Oh, you're up by double digits. They're trying to keep the momentum, keep the foot on the net. That's his focus right now. Look, it hasn't happened yet, but he's got time to find his rhythm. And if he does, they can turn this thing around. Yeah, Rose always been one of the best at getting to the line. The D has to avoid fouling in those situations. Two. Two. The free throw drops for Rose. He doesn't get the second one. And Derrick Rose, the former number one overall pick in 08, one of the most athletically gifted point guards the league has ever seen. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Harden with it. From deep three-point range, and that shot was up in time. But does, and so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for Los Angeles. He witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. Back to the action after this word. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And so in the game for the Rockets. Ennis out there with Nene. Then there's Gerald Green. Then it's Carter okay. Williams. And it's Hutchenstein in at the five down low. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. And a deep three from Harden. Kept alive. Chamberlain dishes to Baylor. Left side Rose. Shoots over Carter Williams. Rose hits the bucket. Rose has got nine points now in just the second half. Carter Williams feeling it out a bit. Nene outside. Out left of the wing. 
fires the three. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Carmelo Anthony, he's checked in for James Ennis. Here's Los Angeles now. Rose kicks to LeBron. Off target from outside. Carter Williams against Rose. And here's Anthony for three. Houston gets it back. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Harden. And now Rose running the floor all by himself. That one falls. Rose has got four points this quarter. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Baylor on the double team. Back to Anthony. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. And defensively, great anticipation making a play there on the ball. And don't forget about the good hand-eye coordination. I mean, he almost corralled it in for the steal. Five to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot on Hartenstein can't get it to go. Even that close to the bucket. That's a very tough finish in that kind of track. From deep, Harden. Great D that time from Green. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Here's Chamberlain, and Chamberlain with the stop. And that's the role they want for Rose. Getting guys going through his passing, especially when he can find them in rhythm. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. On the three off target. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Down low. Nene, the pass to Hartenstein. Chamberlain with the block. And the quickness off the floor, the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. And here is Los Angeles now. A great fourth quarter. He's giving up two points. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. Well, that's because they made a concerted effort to get the shooters involved. Now they've built up the confidence. Carter Williams finds Anthony. Back to Carter Williams. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Look, Carter Williams is a fantastic feel for inside the paint. Defenders have a tough time dealing with the size. And here's Rose outside. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And when you're down this many points, hard to justify leaving a good shooter that wide open. Well, the game looks like it's starting to wear on them. Unable to get out, defend the perimeter, unfocused. It's a bad sign. And here's Los Angeles. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Good, and the assist goes to James. 19 points for Rose. And it's been about that execution offensively. I mean, they have been superb. Yeah, and it's been a team game. A number of contributions. Guys staying focused. That's why the lead continues to grow. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the foul called on Los Angeles. Carmelo Anthony, one of the most formidable scorers ever. Top 20 in points all time in NBA history. Kevin Durant's checked in for Baylor. Ryan Anderson, he's checked in for Houston. James Ennis comes in for Gerald Green. There's 47 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Rose, that's good. Now look, an assist like that, that gives Durant more hype than any other play he makes. He loves creating an easy bucket for a teammate. Chamberlain kicks to Durant. To the middle. And Chamberlain with the stop. And that's a killer instinct on display as they try to put this one on ice. Well, they've gotten serious, stringing together some game-winning bucks. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. Seventeen seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And stolen by James. 
here's Rose. And finished off by Rose. Oh, the tenacity, the, the attention to detail. It's, it's why these guys are in complete control. Well, they continue to extend the lead. Terrific play on both ends of the court. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. 